This presentation will include how to operate Prophecy Machine Edition Logic Developer PLC and how to go online with a GE controller. In order to accomplish this, we must first open up Machine Edition. In order to do this, you can locate Prophecy Machine Edition either in your Start menu under your Prophecy, Prophecy Machine Edition. Uh, there will be a shortcut. The other option is to find or locate a shortcut either on your desktop or in your Start menu. Click on this to begin. When you open Machine Edition, you will notice that it is a very Windows intensive program. The windows can be moved around or hidden or tacked to the side using the tack symbol based on your preference. Once you've done this, move the window or hit it to the side or down or up. The next time you open up Machine Edition, as long as you have not changed this, this will remain the same. To begin, the first window noted on the upper left-hand side is the Navigator window. This is going to be where your projects uh, are stored, found, and located, as well as where you will open up and work with targets within your project. The Navigator is also where you will restore, backup, open, and close any projects. The Inspector window is your Properties window. Anytime you right-click on an object and select properties, the inspector window is what's going to pop up. If you already have the inspector window open and you click on something within your navigator window, the inspector window will automatically display the properties of whatever you've clicked on. The companion window is your quick help. This is going to provide a quick reference as long as you leave it open and displayed for anything that you've clicked on within your window. If you'd like more help or more explanation as to whatever you've clicked on, click on the question mark within the companion or hit the F1 key on your keyboard. When you do this, the full help will display in your editor window located on your info view tab. Your editor window is going to be where you edit, change, or view your logic. This can be any logic that you have written in. That would include ladder, as well as structure text, or function block diagramming if you're using a path controller. The feedback zone below is going to be an important window. This will display your warnings or errors when downloading, uploading, or validating a project. It's also going to be an important resource for finding and displaying variable locations as you click on it through Logic. The Data Watch window provides you a, the ability while online with your controller to view and or change, if it is writable, a value within the Data Watch. The tool chest is going to be the location in which you can find your ladder, function block diagram instructions, or any functions or instructions or logic that you've saved off yourself. So it's going to be a nice resource to be able to drag over from. To begin, we'll open up Machine Edition just as we've shown using your shortcut. Once Machine Edition is open, the first thing you want to do to connect or go online with a new controller that does not yet have a project would be to create a new one. Create a new project by either right-clicking on your My Computer underneath your Manager tab of your Navigator, or Select File New Project or click on the New Project 
shortcut. Either way, a pop-up will come up. Indicate a new name. You'll select a template. If you do not select a template, the project will be empty without any targets in it whatsoever to start. If you wanted to start with a template in mind, for example, I'm going to connect to an RxI PAC controller, I would select that controller. You can at any time set these as your default by clicking on Set as Default. You can position this then in any folder that you may have located on or underneath your My Computer in your Manager tab. I'm going to leave mine under my, my computer base. Hit OK to create the project. Once you've done this, Machine Edition is going to add more tabs underneath your Navigator window. You now have a Project tab and a Variables tab that is open. Your Manager tab, as you can see, now has the new project that you've created. If you look in the Project tab, you'll notice that the target single target called target1 by default is going to have the family type that you had selected as the project template. If you messed up or need to change this, you can still change this at this time. In addition, you can add more targets to any given project. At any time, if you'd like to add another project or another target to your project, right click Add Target and select whatever target you'd like. As you can see, Machine Edition can add more than just controllers. It can also add remote I.O., it can add proxy process systems, or view panels, HMIs. If you add another component, that target will show up as a secondary target, generically called Target 2. You can rename these targets at any time that you wish. And you can have several targets within one project at any given time. In order to now connect to my controller, it's important to understand what I'm using to connect to that controller. In my case, I'll be using an Ethernet cable. If I click on my target 1, or I click on my target 2, there are going to be address locations for me to fill in. Anytime I add another controller, for example, this is going to be the case again. What you're looking for on each target, doesn't matter which target you are connecting to, is going to be the addition of your physical port selection. If you're communicating and walking up with a serial cable, you're going to want to select one of the COM ports, for example, COM1. If, however, you're walking up as I am with an Ethernet cable, you're going to select the physical port as Ethernet. The next item that you're going to accomplish is to plug in the IP address of that target. You have to do this on any target that you select Ethernet as a physical port indication. Elsewise, Machine Edition won't know what to connect to. In my case, the IP address I'm going to connect to is going to be 192.168.2.20. The next step to connecting, aside from plugging in the right physical port selection and IP address in this case, because I have selected Ethernet, is to ensure that my target is the active target within the project. This is extremely important if you have multiple targets like I do in my project. If you simply have one target, it will always be the active target. You will notice that target 3 is currently the bolded or highlighted target. That is because it is now the active target. If I'm unsure of this, there are many ways to check. You can either right-click on the target you would like to make the active target and ensure that the set active target target is grayed out. In my case, it is not, and therefore, 
I need to select it to make this the active target. If I right click on it and it is grayed out, it is the active target. The other option is to go up to target, set active target, and ensure that the target you wish to go online with is the selected target with the check mark next to it. The next and final piece to connecting to your controller is to ensure that you are connecting to that controller in this case, because I'm using Ethernet, um, using your LAN port and that you've selected an IP address that is on that same network. In my case, I'm on the 192.168.2 network. I need to ensure that LAN port, the local area network on my computer, is set to that same subnet. In that case, I need to open up my network and sharing center location. Underneath your network and sharing location, which is located under your control panel, you can click on Change Adapter Setting on the left-hand side. You'll notice I have a local area connection, which I can double click on. This will pull up the properties. Once I open up my properties, I want to locate my Internet Protocol version 4, go to Properties. You'll notice that I currently don't have a static IP. I'll want to plug one in. 192.168.2. And I want it something different than 20. And preferably, if you are on a network, you want to check and make sure that you're selecting something that isn't conflicting. You'll want to let the subnet mask fill in. So the standard 255.255.255.0 will work just fine. We'll hit OK. We'll close this and we'll close this window. Once you've successfully attached a static IP address, this will allow us to then connect via my Ethernet IP address to this target. In order then to connect to this target, the next step would be to go online. There are several methods to that. First, you can right click on your target one and select go online. The other option is to go up to your lightning bolt in your shortcut toolbar. Either method will work as long as you have selected that target as your active target if you have multiple targets. You've selected your physical port properly as well as filled in an IP address if your physical port is Ethernet. I've now gone online. You'll know that you're online because your indication in the lower right-hand corner of Machine Edition references and shows offline whenever you're offline. You also see a gray symbol next to your target. When I go online, you will by default go online in monitor mode. This is the safe mode. This mode allows you to view, monitor, and uh, watch your data watch list without changing anything. This is the safe mode again. If and when you're ready to go into programmer mode, which is the mode that you need to be in to do a download or to make changes while running, you'll first have to click on the hand up here, which toggles the online mode, or right click, go to online commands, and set whichever mode you're in. Right now I'm in monitor mode, so I'm going to go into the opposite mode, the pro programmer mode. You'll notice then that it references programmer mode. You'll also notice that when I'm online, it will tell me whether or not my controller is running or it's stopped. You'll also notice that you have a red X indication if you are either not equal on your configuration or not equal with your logic. Your sweep or your scan time will also show next to this. If you want to perform an upload to make your configuration or logic equal or both, you simply can actually be in the monitor mode. You do not have to be in programmer mode. You right-click and upload from the controller. 
You can upload as, mi as many items as you wish, all or nothing. It will warn you if the program names don't match. And as soon as you match, your red X will go away. You'll also see the configuration and logic are equal. You can also download, but you can only download if you are in the programmer mode. Now I'm in programmer, so it will now allow me to download. Keep in mind that you can only download while running if it is a logic not equal situation. If your configuration is not equal, and that is what you're downloading to make equal, you will have to stop your controller. In order to stop your controller, you can either right click on your target, go to online commands and stop your controller, or use the shortcut stop button on your shortcut toolbar above. Again, the state of your controller is going to sh show in the lower right hand corner of your machine edition window. I can now download if my configuration was not equal. If it's simply my logic that's not equal, I can in fact do a download while running. This completes this portion of our TMMI presentation on how to go online with a controller in Proxy Machine Edition Logic Developer PLC. If you have any questions or would like to contact us for further details, please be sure to visit our website at www.tmmi.com. Thanks so much for joining us, and we look forward to presenting to you next time.